What's going on, y'all? Chris from jazbeescasebreaks.com coming back with 2021 Upper Deck Goodwin Champions for box break number 10. First name, last letter. Uh, first name, first letter. So if it's LeBron James, go to L. Michael Jordan goes to M. So on and so forth. We also have a couple letters grouped up as well. Here are our players, Brian down to Mike. So V, W, and Z all go together. And then all other letters not listed here. We'll all go to one person and one spot. But here are our players and our letters. Let's get our dice roll. One dice roll for both once again. Five and a one is six. So six times for both. Good luck. Here's a one, two, three, four, five, and last one, six. There we go. Richard down to Kenneth. And our letters, another six times. One, here's two, three, four, five, and last one, six. All right, D all the way down to V, W, and Z. So here are I guess I just do it kind of alphabetically. So Kevin with A, Brian will get all other letters, Richard with C and D, Mike with J, Richard with K, Brian with L, Jack with M, Tim with N, Kenneth with P, Brian with R, Kenneth with S, Richard with T, and Kenneth with V, W, and Z. Let's make this a little bigger so everyone can actually see it. Yeah. And I would usually read the names and letters before you alphabetize. Just so they can see the sort of the raw randomizer yeah. as it okay. is. Yeah. But here is our uh, here is our spots. Uh, I'll do a little trade window just in case anybody wants a particular letter in particular. And I'm gonna go get those boxes. We'll be back in just a moment, y'all. Alright, so no trade shatter. Uh, we are all good with our teams and our spots. Let us go here. Our four boxes. One, two, three, and four. And on the side as well, since Joe is a pro, you can see random letter number 10. Is that Collins thing? Just traded this uh, right at the end of the spring training, too, from the White Sox to the J. So here it is, Tuesday, random letter 10. To the whole thing in one spot, Kevin, all the way down to Kenneth. All right, good luck, everyone. My, where's the box cutter? You should be prepared, Chris. I know. There should be a fish blade in there. I like the fish blade. The fish blade. This mm -hmm. is the best one. All right. Good luck, everyone. Richard was a big proponent about getting this crate filled, so thanks to Richard as well. I mean, some good ones to get there, Richard. I was actually looking enough to get a, a, a Tiger, rem tiger rem memorabilia from an IG break on uh, on Sunday, which Jason's doing right now. Jaspies.com and Jaspies Breaks on the Instagram. Nice to see you, TJ. Thanks for coming on in. The good one's been fun this year. It's uh, obviously a pretty crazy checklist. We'll have a hit there, okay. So 
So I was going to ask you about that since I don't think I've actually ever sorted mm -hmm. uh, a good winch jam break. For something like, let's say, a map relic, it goes to first letter of the city. So let's say it's Osaka, oh, Japan. I know someone who hasn't read the item description. I know. you got to familiarize yourself with this, Chris. I'm an amateur. What can I say? Uh, per the item description, all non-human cards, i.e. Right. maps, coins, animals, vehicles, etc., etc., will be randomized as one lot to one person in the break, even if they are relics or numbered. That's right. So, the Puffin. The Baltimore the Starling, Oriole. The Lark. The, the, pigeon, sto the Stork. The Stork. I pulled a Stork the other day. That was pretty... It was a Pink Flamingo. Oh, flamingo bordered. Flamingo? No, like a, the flamingo board. I think it was tier two or tier three of the store. Shouts out the store. We did a bit of did a little bit of research about that too, about why the stork is uh why it has it is linked to to babies. You know, why why do they deliver Yeah, why do they? And it's just it's a couple theories. One of them is just about apparently the the stork is a, let's just say, very fertilitous animal. Oh. And it's in its own mating season. All right, all right. And the other is just that the swan is pretty. That's literally it. There you go. Or the stork is pretty. I do like the playing cards. We're looking for the aces as well. Super short prints. All right. So here's box one. <laughs> Good luck, everyone. Snake. Chrome Refractor. Pete Buttigieg. Yeah, it's just such a crazy checklist. Literally no idea what you're going to get. Splash of color. Stan Smith. That's a cool one. That would be a cool chase to get his auto as a sneaker head. We got Pachidu, the elephant. Chrome Gaudi. Sabrina Ionosco. Oregon, yeah? Or Oregon State. Oscar. The Elephant. Chrome Roberto Campos. Let me make sure I can go. Splash of color, Carlos Colinares. Prospect for the Rays. Santith Tagala. Chrome Goodwin. Nice. It's our first auto, our first hit. It's a Heath Tagala, Blue Gowdy. He had a heck of a run a couple years ago, and it's kind of cooled off. But so Heath can definitely still play. Not numbered. It's a Heath Tagala, Blue Autograph. Is our map relic. Why on France? Lyon? France? Lyon Francais? France? Lyon France? Have you been to France, Joe? I have not been to France. Neither have I. I've been to Barcelona. Mm, with with the, the correct pronunciation as well, and the accent yeah. with the uh, the lisp. Uh, Barcelona? Lisp. National Travel like Zone. I like that. I'm sure it's a beautiful city. To anyone who's been to yeah, Lyon France. Fantastic. And then, uh, I went actually went with uh, Nick's brother yeah. many many moons ago. And Very nice. Ran with the Bulls. Oh wow, that's no joke. Can't possibly imagine. We have a numbered card coming up. These are super cool. This little blue intergalactic. Me Jean Montero. Planetary. Numbered eighteen out of ninety nine. He's in the uh, that new Tops OTE basketball. 
which we have, I have ripped a couple at the store here. And if that is what we're expecting for tops for basketball, I think we're in for a treat. Excellent. Good, good, it is good. an excellent product. Also, if you want to use that mat to stand on, oh, yeah. YouTube, that's, that might be a little bit comfortable. More Streamer, comfortable the, the turtle. On the feet. Dowdy Ben Simmons. Nice, that's a good one. Little red chrome refractor Gaudi Naomi Osaka. This keyboard down here too to get it out of your way. Thank you, sir. Our last stack of box one. Name is the King Lion. Splash of color, Jason Isbell. All these playing cards. It's gonna be a fun set to complete, yeah? The yeah. Yeah. Box two. That's the one thing I still, that's like the main thing I have to get used to when I'm breaking. Not just the standing, but it's just getting a nice perspective of the space I have on the table. Right. I mean, it's a, it's a wide um, table. There's a lot of things on camera. You can, uh, you can sit if you want to as well. No, I'm okay. There's a, there's a, there's a chair here. Jason, Jason sits. I got, the, I got these long arms. They're good for a reason, but. Good week span. Really NBA level wingspan, but you know, <laughs> decent height, decent height, six three. If I end up by, when I was a kid, obviously I was bigger than a lot of the other kids. They put me at the three and the four, but I didn't grow to be that high at an NBA level. You know, I'm no Zion, no LeBron. Right, right, right. But six three, that's, that's still like point guard size. Yeah, it's good. Undersized point guard two. Size. If you mean, I mean, I'm quicker than a hiccup. You know, if you put me at that Donovan Mitchell undersized two, Ooh. that Tyrese Maxey. Unguardable. Un, I mean, just Unguardable. A, you talk about Greel, I'm talking about freaks. Forget about Jan, I'm talking about me here. I was a stopper back in the day, too. You know, kids are trying to post me up. I'm like, hey, what do you think you're doing, bud? Man, you're backing me down. Oh, man. You know, I was in a, a good era of power forwards when I was a kid. Dirk, KG, Timmy, Chris Weber, eventually Powell, the Saul, who should have his, that number 10 retired, that number 16 retired, by the way. Powell should have. His jersey should be hanging in the rafters at crypto. I almost said the S word. Whoa. Excuse me. At, at, not just crypto, at crypto.com arena. My apologies, but you can't awkward. you can't call it. I mean, I was cool with calling it the crypt. Yeah, I think I think it, eventually that's the sort of be shortened up to be. Right? They they do not like it being called that though. Oh, they they don't. They do not. So will like the crypto police come after us? Yeah. You ever see Scott Pilgrim versus the World? Not in ages. Oh, well, there's that whole segment with like the vegan police. Stop, <laughs> vegan police. That's that's crypto police. You knowingly and took apart a plate of chicken parmesan. Chicken isn't vegan? That is what an incredible movie. Such a great movie. And that cast in 2010, if you look back at it now, Brie Larson, Chris Evans, Aubrey Plaza, Anna Kendrick, Michael Sarah, Kieran McCullen, Kieran, Kieran Culkin, you know, Michael Sarah. I mean, a stacked cast. All right, here's box two. Good luck, everyone. 
Twinkle Toes. Chris Evans was in that movie too. Yeah, Chris Evans is Evil X Ryan number Ross two. Was in that movie? Superman. And yeah. Schwarzman. Oh Nice. Darius Garland auto. Two boxes, two autos. Darius Garland, an all star now with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Oh, I mean, I'll say it's Joe Lyon, but I'll say it. Cleveland! This is for you! This is for you! It sucked that that movie bombed them. And another hit right after it. Coco Goff, dual memorabilia. Female tennis player got a bit of a double, two color packs there on the right. That's what you want to call it. We'll take that. Nice, Coco Goff, dual patch. Speaking of females, a big female athletes pack. Lexi Thompson, that's gonna be number 299, female golfer. See if we can catch that in there. 175 out of two, no, 79 out of 299. Could have had that US Open, choked. Tough. Tough so one, think, man. So I think maybe one of the Porta sisters. Ken Griffey Jr. Nice. There's our ace, Crystal. Super short print here on the ace cards. Ace of Hearts, Crystal, the flying dinosaur. Very nice. He's looking at randomized that one. D I N O S A. You are a dinosaur. Some, some, uh, you know, some Kesha for the chat. Let's just have Garland. We'll get right back to that. Matt Wolf. Next stack of cards. Red Chrome Refractor. Bryson DeChambeau. Chris Kattan, super underrated member of SNL. He was very funny. Wolfito. Splash of color, Tiger Woods. Nice. Ansu Fati, the youngster. Meli, the B. Serpentar the snake. Chrome Refractor Carlos L. Sen. Splash of color, Brage Springak. Really? I thought it was also awesome in uh, Undercover Brother, one of my all-time favorite movies. Naomi Osaka. Me too, Tanner. That'll be the, I think, the third box of uh, Floss I've ever opened. Splash of Color, Carlos L. Sen. Reggie. The Chrome Sabrina Ionosco. That's box two down. Box three here. He's a funny guy. I, I think there are a few guys who may, be, may have been kind of forgotten the time when it comes to comedy. Like, I think he's one of them. And I was just actually kind of talking about this with a couple friends a while ago. I feel like Sean William Scott gets the short end of the stick a lot. But that dude's really funny and really entertaining in like kind of everything that he's in. And he's in some pretty good movies. 
even some of the bad stuff. There's a movie, a Chow Young Fat karate movie that he's in called Bulletproof Monk. That has, it's not good at all. But it's way more fun than it should be, and he's like a big reason why. 2003, I think? Like Chris Kattan, very funny. I feel like Sean William Scott is what Ryan Reynolds could have been. Like, Ryan Reynolds should probably not be as successful as he is. Like, in a different universe, Sean William Scott is Deadpool, which is very odd. Bill Burr on, Bill Burr on, Bill Burr on, like on a nice, live national feed. I was like, why is a baseball broadcast? And I realized it's a, ball, it's a Red Sox game. I like that Bill Burr. Bill Burr's one of those guys where he's like, I'm just going to be Bill Burr in TV shows and movies. Yeah. Like, when he's on Star Wars, Bill Burr is just Bill Burr, Bill Burr in space. Burr, yeah. e exactly, Rex. Jay and Silent Bob, one of my all-time favorite movies. And he's great. God loves all the fuzzy creatures. That's so great. Oh, easy, Chris. We don't want any copyright strikes on our. Uh, on our You're right. Here. I sound just like Jason Newton, <laughs> don't I? Easy, Smoochy easy. Well, Gucci, well, 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 alright? I wish Kevin Smith was still talented. That's tough, man. Being a, being a director as long as he has been, like, you're gonna make some duds. That's fine. I get it. But Quirks, Quirks 2, Jim, Sean Bob, Strike Back, Mole Rats, Dogma. I'm a big Dogma guy. Yeah. He's, Horatio Sands another guy. He's great. He's in, he's in Mandalorian too, actually. He's in he Mandalorian, yeah. S1E1. Yeah, so funny. And he, and he comes back in season two. He's a good oh, guy right, now. Yeah, yeah he's, right. he's right. like he with... Makes, uh, he reappears, right. With uh, Carl Weathers and, I guess, Carla Gugino. I don't know what they're going to do with her, but... Uh, yeah. Dogma is so good. I mean, it's it's kind of hard to deny, but yeah, Alanis Morissette really is God, isn't she? Oh, we got a nice one here. We'll get to that one quicker than rather than later, so... Affleck and Matt Damon... Yeah. It's pretty dang. I haven't seen it in a while. Throw that word around. I very, very vividly remember enjoying Dogma. First off, I think Chris Kattan is terrible. I completely, what? Completely yeah. disagree with you guys. Joe with some hot, hot takes all day. Just, just overrated, annoying, obnoxious, not that funny. Nice. Here's a cool Corky one. Corky Romano, terrible. Everything he's done is terrible. Black and white. Horatio Sands, though. I think criminally underrated. Agreed. I think I don't know why his movie career never really fleshed out. I think he never really had like a a signature character, right, on SNL that, no. that they could turn into a movie. Just a funny guy, funny all around guy. I think he guy. writes funny. I'll bet he writes a lot. Oh yeah. Michael Jordan, and, uh, pro. Nice. But yeah, Dog was pretty good. But that masterpiece. I mean, we got Citizen Kane, Casablanca, Godfather, Undercover Brother. You know. Seven year itch, something like it hot. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a cool one here. Museum collection. Lady Luck Relics from the Stardust Hotel and Casino. Oh, is that a poker chip? That is a poker chip. I haven't seen one of these live. This is very cool. A big piece of it's a dollar dollar piece in the middle. Wow. Very nice. Back in the day, the uh, oh, slot slot machines, you would have to carry buckets around. Because there would be plastic buckets everywhere for the coins. For the coins. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? People used to do it like that? Oh, it's going to fit into a 180. Oh, well. Oh, nice. Now we know. Museum Lady Luck Relics. Nice. That's really cool. That's going to get randomized. With all the other non humans. Non humans. Big species. Let's get it. It is our nice. Another nice one. Another the nice one. ship is not a human. Josh Giddy. Memorabilia. Non numbered, but a Josh Giddy relic piece. Very nice. Going to Jay. That's going to go to Mike. An 
and an orange. Hot. So far, hot. Mojave King. That's going to be numbered 352 to 399. 362, my apologies. Another guy, I think, who's in that overtime elite. Tops Chrome box. Pray for the owl. Oh, Bill Burr threw the first pitch. Ah, that makes oh, sense. I and a rookie auto. Rookie Authentics auto. Isaiah Todd. That's going to be numbered as well. 133 to 299. No, Joe. How could you? What? Oh, the Rays to beat the Cubs. They were minus one eleven. You hate to see it. How many hits has that been in this box? Blue, Chrome, Refractor, Lexi Thompson, the Poker Chip, the Auto, and the Memorabilia. That's three so far. Can we get a fourth? Another two on average. Let's see if we can find a. A fourth here. Aaron the monkey. Is that an eight? A blue eight? My apologies to any fans of the monkey out there. Chucky. Let me get an actual, like, the doll Chucky card. That'd be neat. Uaga. Not an auto, but a chrome refractor of my guy Riff Raff, the neon icon. Pink Panther. Rap game, Dennis Rodman. And a splash of color, Sky Brown. Nice. The Olympian. Youngest U.S. Olympian this past Summer Olympics. And she was rolling, too. From Sarah Haven. Splash of Colors, Ken Griffey Jr. in the basketball jersey. Last stack of box number three. Eek. Funny. Good joke, guys. Michael Jordan, Chrome, Gaudi Edition. I'm dying for uh, an MJ Auto of the year, though. Or a Gretzky. Splash of color, Isaiah Todd, Ansu Fati, and Mike Mancius, the last of box three before we get into our last box. And no giveaway, no wax party spot, just a, just a regular good old four box break. Ooh, yes he is. I mean that's I guess I mean more more stuff that the sport needs. Twenty seven year old Japanese quote unquote rookie coming to the major leagues and absolutely crushing major league baseball. That's good for the sport. And it's, you know what that that's good for Joe? Quote hashtag Good for the hobby. Good for the hobby. He'll be a series two guy. That series that top series two product might be potentially legendary. And that tops you know, chrome. You were actually looking that up. You think it's going to be series two where they'll have those guys? I think a, a lot of the guys that made the opening day rosters are going to be in there. Series two is in early June, so yeah, probably. Torque with J Rod, Hunter Green, Suzuki. Right, because Torque hasn't had his rookie card yet, right? No. Kel Kelnick was last year, Julio Rodriguez this year, right? Yes. Mariners, Kyle Lewis in 2020. Kelnick in 2021. Not, it's not going to happen in Bowman Baseball. That's early May. No. They won't have it for tribute. They're not going to have it for Sterling or 
It's go, I think it's going to be Series 2 and yeah, then Chrome. Series 2 in early June. Probably not Museum, not Tier 1. Stadium Club, maybe? July. Oh, Probably. please. If anyone here doesn't know. Maybe. But I think like Club... late July, Top Chrome. That's, I think Series 2 and Top Chrome, definitely. Stadium Club and Stadium Club Chrome? When it comes to, like, flagship tops, like, nothing too crazy high-end, it's my favorite product of any sport every single year. Oh, wow. So if that's going to be... Well, we'll, 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 make, we'll make sure you're on breaking duty that day. I love Stadium Club. It, it was my favorite set as a kid. The photography's amazing. That's what it is, yeah. And especially for the Stadium Club Chrome from last year, I'm biased, obviously, but as a Dodger, as a Dodger fan... All the Dodgers base cards are from the World Series and, and just that entire 2020 run in general. Mookie Betts pumping his chest after the diving catch in Atlanta. Oh, pumping his chest after the home run in Game 1 of the World Series. Justin Turner's diving tag against the Braves. Cody Bellinger after with the, with the, the thumb in the, the, the two in the air after he makes the home run rob catch. Julio celebrating after closing out Game 6. Clayton Kershaw with the trophy. Yeah, can, yeah, yeah. Oh. I don't like Steve Kahn. Saving uh, saving Silverman, Steve Kahn, Jason Big, Sean William Scott. No, Steve Zahn. It wasn't, yeah, Steve Zahn. Rex is talking about Steve Kwan. Oh, Steve from The Guardians? I was talking about him. Steve Zahn, who, he's in a movie called, oh my gosh, where he plays like a, kind of like a park animal documentary guy. Uh, Strange Wilderness. That movie has... It's just one of those, like, kind of gross-out, stupid, funny movies, but it's so funny. Is it? It's, like, 05, 06, like... That movie cannot be made anymore. You know what I want to see? Is that, um... Is that Nicolas Cage movie? The Unbearable Weight of Immense Talent? Yeah. I don't... I want it to be good. I like Nick Cage. I don't really want it to be good. I think Diego Luna's in it, too. And, uh... And our guy, uh... Is it Diego Luna or someone else? It's, uh... He's no, literally it's everything. Diego Luna. He's in literally everything. He's, he's Mando. Right. Oh my gosh. I forgot. I apologize to that great actor. He's in everything. All right. Box four. Jess it's, Lockwood. Uh, Pedro Pascal. Pedro pa I was going to say Pedro Escobar. And that's in, uh, Narcos. Yeah. And our first hit here, another world relic. Tavan Estonia. Piece of the road. has got the tramway right there in the middle. World Traveler, Estonia. Anyone been to Estonia? Steve Zahn, yes. Saving Silverman, so good. Shouts out to Neil Diamond. We have another hit right now behind this Matthew Wolf. Our 3D Lenticulars, another one. Lexi Thompson. These are probably my favorite cards in the entire set. Blue. 3D lenticular. Very nice. Let's go into Brian. Yes, we've got one of those. Uh, the black was a black and white Kuminga, which with the Mike T. Those are super cool. They're technically short. Yeah, they're like a non-announced parallel insert short print type thing, which is very cool. And then pink. Another one. Pete Buttigieg. Going to Kenneth. 220 of 299. That one's a little easier to read, thankfully. On the base cards. Chrome Refractor, Tiger Woods. Nice one. Going to Richard. Another nice one. <laughs> I'm sure Upper Deck will say, oh, no, we, we, we meant to do. Super intentional. But we know. There's the great one, Wayne Gretzky. Coiler, the snake. 
Swatch of Color Woj. Steve Kwan, though, I mean, yeah, he'll make that series too for sure. Let's hope he keeps it up. I'm hoping he doesn't suffer from a uh, Yerman Mercedes syndrome. Silvestri, the six of clubs, six of spades. That was clubs, I'm right. Chelonia, the turtle. Chrome Refractor, Gowdy, Sarah Pavin, Dave Flaming. <laughs> Squash and Colored Chloe Kim, nice. Shouts out the local. Chloe Kim, she lives in Florence. Shouts out. The only good thing besides her being from Torrance, when it comes to Torrance, is uh, L L Hawaiian Barbecue. Shouts out L L. Jonathan Kuminga, Chrome. L L Hawaiian Barbecue, you ever been? Uh, yeah. Yes, excellent. And another Lexi Thompson, orange this time. 41 to 399. Another one going to Brian. Another Lexi Thompson. Wow. Platinum Legacy, 1987. Michael Jordan, Chrome Refractor. Very, very nice. I actually haven't seen one of these before. I don't think I have either. 1987-1988 Jordan Platinum Legacy. Very, very nice. And that's going to Jack. His Aranus. That might be a case hit, like a super rare case hit, actually. What's the answer again? Platinum Legacies. I think that's a, a big, big one. Scott Brown, Stan Smith, Allie Rushman. And at the top of this stack is a splash of color, Josh Giddy. Last few cards for this break, y'all. Thanks for getting this filled out. Good. Congrats to everyone who hit. Fuga, the Al, Toby Miller, and Chloe Kim. All right. What does that MJ look like again? I can show you. He just has a basketball tucked in his arm. Yeah, tracksuit. I don't know if that's been posted yet. Let me check the box as well before we ran. Oh, the there's lines. one that went for forty-six dollars. No, that's not as much as I thought it would be. I thought this was on here. Perhaps not. Hmm. Well, I still haven't seen one of those. That's still a very nice one, though. Nice MJ. All right. So we have all of our our lettered cards who are humans going to people. We still need to do a randomizer for all non-human cards. So I'm going to take you back over here to me. In our screen. So these were all of our players. Kevin down to Leneth. Kenneth. Leneth. Leneth Key. No. Here's our fresh dice roll and our fresh list. Now with all of our names on here. Kenneth at the bottom. Kevin at the top. We'll roll our two dice. Good luck, y'all. Three and four is seven. So seven times. Yeah. Poker chip, two map relics. All the playing cards. Good luck. One. Two, three, four, five, six. It's going to be the top spot on the all. Number seven. Good luck. Kenneth. There you go, Kenneth. Congrats. Kenneth, congratulations. All the non human cards going to you. I'll write that down on our sheet. But that's going to do it. Our Goodwin Champions for box break number 10. Thanks so much, everybody. We'll be back with more breaks soon. JaspisCaseBreaks.com.